Hello everybody, I'm Rodney Owens. If you don't know who I am, and um, I had such a great time preaching uh, at Covenant this past weekend on Sunday. And so um, if you haven't seen it, um, go ahead and check it out. Um, pause this video, go take a look, and um, you'll be able to reference the questions much better and the thought process as I kind of go over a little bit about the sermon and, and um, you know, titled Faith Has Power in the Middle of This Faith in the Crossroads um, series. And so, you know, I talked a lot about being impure and how being impure kept you away from God. Um, being impure, unclean, kept you away from God. And so um, kind of want to have you guys ponder, just think a little bit about the time in your life when um, you felt you were unclean, um, that you felt that you were not able to go to God because of what you've done in the past, because of what you're doing now, um, because of anything. How has that stopped you from your relationship of going to God? You know, we've seen um, how the woman had to uh, make a choice. Am I going to go to Jesus or not? Because I understand um, from the purity laws and from what everything I've been taught is that I am not worthy. I am unclean. I cannot go to the Messiah, but she does anyway. And so, again, a lot of times in our head, we keep ourselves away from God and we don't have to. So um, kind of think about that and, and what has stopped you before. And then also think about the interruption, right? Here we have Jairus who um, is, is on his way to receive a miracle, on his way to receive a blessing of his daughter being healed. And all of a sudden, it seems like it just stops and everything just stops for him. And he understands time is ticking, time is going away. And he gets impatient. He starts to think like, what's going on? Is this going to happen? And he gets word that it's too late. So have you guys ever been through anything to where it just seems like um, um, your blessing has been stopped? and that you're trying to um, just make sense of what's going on and it seems like you're on the right path, but something just comes in your life and it's like a big roadblock um, and you're kind of wondering, God, what's going on? That happens a lot to us in our, in our lives. And, and, and then that just brings us to our faith. Like, what is our faith like? Um, describe your faith and, and how, um, how you go about day to day and how do you uh, function day to day with your faith? Do you sometimes question it? Um, what does the faith of a mustard seed mean? Um, how do you deal with doubt? How do you deal with things that come up like an interruption? Um, like it seems like a blessing or a healing is so far away and never happens as the days go by and time ticks. So what is your faith like? Describe your faith. And then lastly, you know, as Christians and as people who are um, called to spread the word of Christ, when somebody that's in your sphere of influence, whether it be a friend, a family member, um, a colleague, whatever it may be, when they come in your life and you realize that they may have a life to where they have a lot of uncleanliness or a lot of things that um, skeletons in the closet or a lot of things they're wrestling with, how are we to act? How are we to respond to that? How are we to help them? And there's a lot of different thought processes on that. You know, do we go and call them out? Do we go and um, come alongside them and help them? Um, do we coddle them? What do we do? How do you do it? What do you think um, we are called to do? And so I hope you guys can ponder those questions. I hope you guys can really dive in. Um, these are really, um, this is one of my favorite passages. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys can get more out of it. And um, you guys have a great week. Thank you.